Hola! Your dream vacation to Vietnam starts from Rs. 39,999 only with GT Holidays, South India's number one travel brand. Hello and welcome to Galata Plus. In this video review episode, we are going to be talking about Jitin Lal's Ajay and Tay Randam Motionam. This is Tovino Thomas' 50th film. It is an easy generic watch, but the premise deserved more. Tovino Thomas plays three roles across three different time periods in Ajay and Tay Randam Motionam, or ARM. The first character, described as someone godly, sets the plot in motion by bringing in three aspects. One, he is from an oppressed caste that is also typically used and also abused, that is cheated by those higher up in the social hierarchy. Two, he introduces us to a magical lamp that will play a part throughout this narrative. And three, he is a warrior and so are his descendants who move the main story. After this setup, the film moves in two parallel timelines with Manian and Ajayan, again both played by Tomino Thomas. ARM is in 3D, though my show was in 2D and so is Tovino. He gets to exercise different dimensions of his persona, the fighter from Goda, the animalistic brute from Kala, and the softer, gentler simpleton we have seen in films like Mayandi. His committed screen presence is the film's strength. There's a fourth hero in ARM, if you count Tovino as three, and that's the cinematographer Joe Monty John. Usually when we go back in time, there is the tendency to hold back with a period look, maybe even cheat a bit to get brighter visuals more palatable to a modern day audience. But Jomon and director Jitin Lal, of course, go all the way. The gorgeous frames look exactly like they have been lit by torches and oil lamps with a lot of dim light and shadows. The effect is spectacular. The action scenes would have been even better had they resisted the temptation to keep inflicting slow-mo in the frames. The location scouting has yielded several beautiful locations, particularly one by a waterfall. And the combination of scenery and lighting is a treat. Even the modern day portions are presented with a hint of watching a new print of a slightly older movie given that it is the 1990s. Sujit Nambiar is the writer and the overall plot sounds wonderful as a one line or even a page but the film has not been fleshed out. The love interests played by Kriti Shetty and Aishwarya Rajesh and Surabhi Lakshmi, the villain played by Hari Shuttaman, they are all generic placeholders who just do what the archetype would suggest. The love interests hang around the hero, the villain who is from a dominant caste seeks to oppress the hero. That's all. With a magical lamp in the mix, how much nicer would it have been to have this villain seek this object for a truly magical reason. Even the power of the lamp is not used properly. There is a decent set piece that reminds us of the Indiana Jones films. It also reminds us that those films really showcase the value of those magical artifacts. So we knew why the villains wanted them so badly. The fact that Ajayan owns an electronic shop is not used for anything other than a meet cute with his lover and a conversation over ham radio. Later in a strange bit, a cop says he overheard these conversations and it amounts to nothing. In an odd bit of casting, Arju Varghese plays this cop. Or take Ajay's tuition classes where he teaches children the fundamentals of the constitution like equality and so on. This character trait comes in just one scene and again, it amounts to nothing. A voiceover at the beginning announces, I am a traveler and time is my vehicle. There's not much in ARM that lives up to the mythical grandness suggested by these words. There's operatic grandness in Dibun Inan Thomas' score, but often the energy of the scene does not live up to the energy of the music. A few patches of writing come off well. There is a nice way a fight ends up as both a defeat as well as a kind of victory. Ajayan's decision to restore his family honor and especially give his mother, played by Rohini, the respect she deserves, certainly needed better writing, but at least there is a semi-mythical feel in these scenes. Some parts of the sidekick character played by Basil Joseph aren't bad. I saw this film in Tamil and the lyrics by Kritika Nelson are lovely, not the usual filler words you find in dubbed films. Some of the transitions between past and present, between Manian and Ajayan are solid. These are the best parts of ARM and this is where the premise is truly exploited. A set piece above and under water involving the lamp is done really well but for something with such a grand vision, something that tries to be an original combination of folklore and fantasy and myth, I wish the film had been more than just genetically watchable. And that's it about ARM. If you like this video review, do subscribe to Galata Plus and see you soon at the movies. Hola! Your dream vacation to Vietnam starts from Rs. 39,999 only with GT Holidays, South India's number one travel brand. <laughs>